Hey y'all, hey, checking in. Wanted to let y'all have a look at my locks. My locks are 28 months old, be 29 months next week. So it's been two years and four months, y'all, two years and four months on this lock journey. So I washed my hair Sunday morning and I just wasn't laying right for me. So this is a go-to style to switch it up. Um, do something different uh, to ease the frustration with the hair. So I put in these two strand twists. Y'all let me know, do they look janky? Cause you can see these rubber bands on the end. Does that look janky to y'all? Or I'm all right. So yeah, and um, confession, I'm back on that stuff. I'm back on that stuff, y'all. I'm back on that stuff. Went back to Sulfur 8, my hair, um, I don't put it on top of my hair, but my hair was looking dry. So maybe that perfume that I'm putting in it that has a little bit of alcohol was making it dry. Uh, someone mentioned that um, you shouldn't put alcohol on your hair or scalp because it could damage your hair. And there may be something to that because my locks started looking dry. Uh, so laying off that, it's like some products, the hair will have a honeymoon phase. So anyway, I'm back on this sulfur eight. Sometimes, you know, I just look for stuff to do with my with my scalp and hair. So I decided to try that because I was experiencing some flaking as well. And uh, so I decided to go to the tried and true sulfur eight. Now you will notice that this is the light version. So the smell of sulfur is not as intense as the original medicated version. This is a uh, medicated as well, but it's the light formula. And my husband hasn't said anything yet. He sleeps to me next to me every night. So uh, he would know if it's, you know, the smell is too loud. Uh, I could smell it in my own hair. It's not unbearable. So I'm going to do uh, deal with it. It's the only thing, and I've told you this before, Sulfur 8 is the only thing that I could put on my scalp. And I don't put it on top of my hair, just on my scalp. I don't put any products on top of my hair. It's the only thing that I could put on my scalp, and my scalp does not flake. So we're going to go with this, see how it goes. Um, you know, just trying something I can't say trying something new because I've tried done sulfur eight before. This is not anything new, but I'm back on that stuff, y'all. What about you? What do you use on your scalp? Do you use anything on your scalp? I have gone from using, uh, at one time, put olive oil directly on my scalp. Doesn't work for me. Scalp flakes up. I have used um, ISO plus grease. Who knows about ISO plus grease on my scalp? Doesn't work for me. It's funny, these things I didn't have a problem with when I was younger, had relaxed hair and would grease my scalp. Who knows about greasing your scalp? But now my scalp can't tolerate that stuff. It doesn't tolerate anything but good old sulfurate, good old smelling funny sulfurate. So I'm back on that sulfurate using that and um, we'll see how it goes. I just put it on my hair, let's see, I think yesterday, and I put these two strand twists in yesterday as well. Today is Wednesday. I washed my hair Sunday, put the two strand twists in yesterday, Tuesday, and put sulfur eight on my scalp Tuesday as well. And um, hair's looking fine. 28 months on my journey, y'all. It's looking fine. I'll give y'all a 360 real quick. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth and so on. So yeah, want to check in with y'all. Let y'all know, confess, I'm back on that stuff. My name is Willette and I use Sulfur 8 on my scalp. What do you use on your scalp? What works for you? Everybody's different. Olive oil works for some people. Coconut oil works for some people. Iso Plus works for some people. All these things work for some people. Oils and and all this stuff, but this is what works for me, y'all. This is what works for me. All right, checking in. Talk to y'all later.